Welcome everybody to another Let's Play of No Man's Sky. Now, um, we had some processors here, microprocessors, uh, and we were working on trying to get in some new technology. That technology, of course, was, uh, oh, what was that technology, I think? That technology was... <laughs> Oh, if I knew, wouldn't it? This here, so we need chromatic metal, everybody. And I told you all when I did get this, so I'd make sure that I uh, that I did that. I do not want to waste microprocessors on anything else first. Uh, I would rather waste them on this. The phase beam would probably be good. As a weapon, hey. Um, but uh, first things first here. Uh, now, you will notice, I look like I have landed on another planet, and you are correct, I did, in the meantime, because I, uh, wasn't sure where the hell I was going with things, frankly. So, I did do that. Um, I exited from the spaceport, but I had to, uh, come upon different planets here to do that, which I needed to do. Um, in this cold ass planet, but we're not gonna stay here actually. We're gonna go back up into space. We're gonna go to Raricus, the planet we know and love. And we are going to set. Ooh! Such a pretty sky, isn't it? And we're gonna set, uh. We're gonna set down on Raricus. As you can see here, we got some gold, we got some silver I can sell, which I will. Um, it's a shame they don't make something like a portable, like a portable seller, you know? That'd be good. Uh, let's see what I can craft here. So I need dehydrogen, and of course there's a dog barking outside of the ship, or outside of the ship. Yes, he's in a ship. Ah, he's truly, he's truly weird today. I don't know what happened was. Um, I had some coffee, so I can't claim that I didn't have my coffee. That's not why I can't concentrate. It's actually, uh, well, frankly, I don't have a great reason. Audrey Trificus, I believe I named this, and this does have copper. So, uh, let's set down there, okay? There's paraffin. Oh wait, yeah, I should have everything I need in order to land on that sucker, get this going. Oh, never mind, that's a damn frozen planet, isn't it? What is wrong with me? Why did I do this? I don't know if this one was or not. It looks like this is... Not frozen. Good. Not gonna lie, I was holding my breath there for a minute. Let's, uh, oh shit. We'll set her down there. I'll be back with food for your fuel bits. And, uh, let's see what we can do from that way. So for now, we are looking for a copper deposit. It's not that far away. It's sodium. Copper deposit that is way far away. Sodium. Paraffin. I don't know what paraffin is going to be for. Because obviously I want to make sure that I, uh, I note that. So how does this happen on the other copper deposit? The deposit doesn't just leave. Okay, we're going to go there. That is the closest to where we are. Hi there, little guys. I remember this plan. Alright. Uh, I actually haven't played this uh, more than... I played it a bit the night that I did talk to you all a little bit about how I was going to... Uh, I was going to be going to and I'm going to get some Peter Vinkman. Doesn't sound good for the thing to you all just did yet. I just like that, you know, Forever, his character is immortal. <laughs> oh Lord, 
Some of you out there aren't going to love that, but if you are from the 80s like me, then you will appreciate what I have done for the Peter Venkman. What did Peter Venkman? So the dehydrogen crystals we're going to need for Starship fuel. So I need these anyway, so we're just going to mine the shit out of these right now, although we can and get a bunch. And then make dehydrogen. And then I need one other thing that will overheated. Because it's urgent. Just be waiting. Alright. Yeah, now you believe I'm 80s? I'm singing freaking foreigner. Why does it always remind me of Aqua Chain Hunger Force? It reminds me of uh, Car Carl. And he's like, yeah! And he's talking about how he saw uh, Foreigner and uh, he calls Fry Lord the Fry Man. And I don't know why, but it cracks me up like crazy. Great, so I didn't need hydrogen jelly. That's some bullshit. I didn't even do that. So all I need really is. Okay, so we're gonna keep that. Don't don't throw shit away. I learned that. Wait a minute. What is this? I have a shield module. Um, nuclear padding. Jesus H. I put this in technology. Can I not? I can. So we're just gonna pop that sucker in there. Um. I think I got that on the space station, and that actually was not too expensive either, so that was not really bad. So, let's go deal with the copper first. Afterwards, while it's doing its thing, I will deal with, uh, getting more hydrogen and more ferrite, and we will make the other stuff. Then we will have a long trek back to the ship. And install something that we wanted to install for a while. And I know what you're thinking. Why don't you just go and grab the big tree even though it's got shit you don't want. That is because if I can help it, I would rather not. And then carbon is good stuff. And you want it when you can find it over any other kind of carbon. If you can't, I get it. But if you can, you want it. Now, as I said... This takes some getting used to, so let's see if I can get back into the recharging of equipment. There we go. Um, I do like that they have made that a little easier to do, frankly. I think it's nicer because it is a pain in the ass, I'm not going to lie to you all. Um, there's, there's no... There's no sugar-coated, there's no... there's no... A uh, nice way to say it, it is exactly what it is as a pain in the ass. Alright, so. We are indeed doing this old school right now. And I'm going to take the terrain manipulator. And uh, I don't have any of these. So I need one of these to unfortunately fix this video. So let's get this. Look at charge defeated. Of course it is. You know why? Because I'm close to getting the shit that I need. So, while I'm at it, let's go down here and get some more dehydrogen crystals. Whoa, 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 son. Well, that should, eh? As I said, you want as many of these as you can get. There, I actually thought I had saved up a bunch of, but I did not. So. I know, um, although I think it's alright that the terrain generator thing needs ferrite because it seems to be an abundant thing, so, you know, it's not annoyingly, I mean, it takes a little, but it's not annoyingly out there, you know what I mean, where I feel like it would be something that would be detrimental to how you play the game or just piss you off to where you don't want to do with that. There are two of these in my prison now. I'm strafing this just in case. Um, anyways, I'm mean, glad so far you all have enjoyed this series. I'm not gonna lie to you, I thought about doing this series before. But, uh, I, 
I started to talk about it, if you'll notice, there is one other video that I don't really link up as being part of these videos. And the reason I don't is because I feel like it's not, it's not, in my eyes. Um, that so sucks. Okay. So, I just need one metal plate. So we'll do that on the way back. Paraffin, I don't know what I need that for. Um, but, I'm not worried about that because the multi tool, the thing that I need for this, we can now recharge fully. So we can go up there and get ourselves a precious ass copper that we were working on. So let's go ahead and get the terrain manipulator. And get our precious ass copper. And then we will do this and make a thing that I will only need in this shitty ass ship and then I will never need another Because it will just come standard most other ships that you buy, frankly. Um, I'm not saying it's a waste to have, but I am saying that I really wish they started you off with a better ship. But uh, apparently if you pre-order the game, you get a ship that's slightly better. Not much, but slightly better than the one you have. Which I would have taken. I'm not going to lie. I badly would have taken, but... I also wouldn't have pre-ordered this game. And that probably puzzles some of you out there, but... I saw a few things that I was worried about off of that. No Man's Sky that puzzled me as to how they were going to do, and then when I heard they were going to have this thing be the best thing since sliced bread and cake, I, I was not believing it. So, I don't know. They sold some people, they didn't sell others. I wasn't one of the ones sold. Um, plus, ironically, at the time, I was playing a game called Noctis, which this and most of these other games like this are. Not entirely based off, but slightly based off. Noctis was a free game made by a guy who wanted to make a game with a Mac algorithm. Uh, not unlike the famous one in Elite that would, as you all know, result in what? Result in random planets. And when he did this, um, he created his own little story and all this other stuff, and it was pretty good. Um, he did a very good job with it, actually. Uh, I can't say it's the greatest game ever. It's a free game, so that's pretty nice of the developer. But it does not work on modern systems, and there have been many attempts to make Noctis again, and none have worked. Um, there aren't a lot of space games that allow you to land on the planet. And that's the one thing that did catch my No Man's Sky. Was, wait a minute, I could actually land on the planet? And I was sold a little on that. I know that sounds probably goofy to some of you. Uh, but kiss my ass. No, I'm kidding. Uh, realistically, not trying to do that to Kiss my ass. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sorry. That's twice I did that to you all. That's not nice. Um, but honestly, the truth of it is, is that I, uh, I don't know, man. I feel like these aren't even worth saving for now. Now watch, I'm gonna come back and need these and be super pissed that I did not grab them. So we're gonna get closer to our ship, start collecting ferrite dust from some rocks around there. And these things, no matter what planet you're on, you see these here? These little sons of bitches. Uh, shoot these, no matter what they're on. Because they will always attack you when your back is turned if you get close. That is another pro tip you learn for years for me. Uh, and by the way, somebody asked me, uh, a friend of mine actually, who is going to be doing Rope Force one day with me. We're going to team up to do a... Uh, me and him both, we're not very good at Rope Force. But we have fun playing it, so we'll probably do for you all a worst of the worst grow force. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it, really. 
just say we're not great at this throw force, but uh, it'll probably be amusing to you guys, so I hope, I hope it is anyway. Because, uh, it's, look, you get to watch this stuff in Life of the Free, you know? Like I said before, I'm not making YouTube money yet, and I'm sure these videos would have a fancy intro and all this other stuff, but uh, we can't even afford an intro right now. We're, we're, we're working on all this. So far, my income from YouTube has been zero dollars and zero cents. And I have over a hundred videos to my name. And that's not bad on my part, that is just the nature of the beast. Apparently everybody is too busy with clickbait to, to watch a channel with a imaginary skeleton playing games. But, you know, maybe one day. Maybe one day in the future. They don't know what they're missing now, do they? Not all my jokes hit, but the ones that do, look out. They're good. Like one out of ten, maybe. Listen to me talking myself up. Alright, let's see here. What, what was that? That was a Lincoln, but I swear to you, I heard a weird... Uh, did you all hear that? Like a weird... hissing noise or whatever the hell that was out there. Oh, there's a... Uh, okay. Oh, there's an alien artifact there. I might hit that up before we leave. There's a cargo drop. There's another cargo drop. Copper deposit. I feel like the cargo drops are also good to give it up. But the first thing is first, just for ease of knowing where the hell I am. I would rather be near my ship, as I do all this. Because then I can also refine while I am... I can protect while I am protecting. For those of you who love memes, you're welcome. And for those of you who hate memes, It's a meme. Okay, so... I remember right, I hit Z. Yes. Nope. Yes. Boom. And the punch piece. So, in goes the... Uh, in goes the thing. What the key hydrogen? Not the paraffin, although I am curious as to what the hell the paraffin would actually make. I feel like the paraffin would make something cool. The top up. We need fuel. We got carbon, but it's not gonna be enough carbon for that shit. But we're gonna use it. We're gonna use it. Okay, return. Have to get some more uh, have to get some more carbon. I'm at it. But while I'm at it, let's also make what I need. And you'll see here, I can make Starship fuel. So we will want to so let us not transfer that to the Starship. Let us use the launch thrusters and Badoom. Um, I am curious here. Let me take a look and see what warp fuel is going to do. It's a warp cell. Antimatter housing and anti antimatter. Oh, I don't to tell. Okay. I don't know where the hell to find that shit. Alright. I feel like I could probably sell that star ball. Uh, I also feel like I'm gonna need it someday. Now I know some of you are gonna like, why do you keep messing with that other shit? I don't know. I don't know what it does yet. And I frankly don't want to waste my time with shit that I don't need, so I'd rather make sure I need it. So that is why I'm doing that. Alright, you know the ironic part is I almost went off and made projectile, uh, some projectile stuff here for this. Oh, ooh. And she's stuffed. So let's see how much I have. Alright, so I, I need, I need, uh, I need more people. So, let me go out here to one of these big ass trees. Scatter, scatter, motherfuckers. Scatter.
So right now, we are getting all the stuff that we need to power up our refining machine. We're going to power up the refining machine again. I feel like there's a lot more steps to things now in No Man's Sky, but I also feel like... It's funny to me in a way, because I feel like this is what you all wanted out of it. But to me, I feel like you all just made this more complicated than it needed to be. But that's just me. I'm, I'm a simple man when it comes to this shit. And the way I see it, look, I'm just happy that they have not screwed us out of a game and have instead uh, kept up with what they said they do. So, that's my big concern. Oh, look at that. That looks pretty, doesn't it? I wonder if we'll use that for anything. I hope we do. That'd be cool. Thank God. Alright. Get this thing up. Let's get our assets. No, get inside your ship. Get in your little punky ass ship. Oh, wait. Wait, before I do that, I did say I was going to do one last thing, and since these videos are longer than they used to be, we're going to go ahead and, uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. So, technology, install new technology, we're going to put the hyperdrive in there. Okay, so we got this, and now I'm sure we're going to get some crazy thing here. Before cool, find antimatter. Okay, before I find antimatter, any of that bullshit. Now you all are gonna be like, oh, don't you hear this thing or that thing out there? Look. In a simple manner of speaking, I hear my ship going batshit crazy behind me, but I am looking to see if I can find that alien artifact again to learn more of the language, because you will need that. Do not underestimate your needing of the alien artifacts. Um, I know you don't think you're going to need it, but you would be surprised how often you will need stuff like that. That's a ways of waiting. Sentient plant? What the fuck is that? Oh, let's go see a sentient plant go. You motherfucker, where are you? Where is it? There it is. See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Kill these fucking things when I read some of Always, man. Always. Always gets about it, too. It's never like they attack you from the front. They're like, oh yeah, smack them. Smack them. They just hit you in the back like a little asshole. I can't call that plant little asshole, uh, or I'd name it little asshole. But I'm not allowed, I don't think. I think the, uh, developers do not allow you to name things, uh, Raunchy names. <laughs> Is that Audrey? Oh my god. I don't know what that is, but it's gorgeous. They're pretty, aren't they? Pick a few of these, because I don't know what the hell they are. No, you don't. No, you don't, motherfuckers. What in the fuck? What is that? Shit. Okay. It's a pause. Quick run. Well, never before have I wanted to get off the planet uh, this quickly, but we do now. The reason is because we do not want the fuzz finding us because they're fucking psychotic. They never used to be this bad, I will say that. Um, if you are, have not played it, the one thing that you will yearn for is the day when these little assholes were not as bad as they are now, because they were not. Now they are so much worse. Uh, so now we are going to do the loop-de-loop -loop and come around here, try and shake off the fuzz, and go and get on our ship. We're going to go in this valley. See if I can like dip down in here. Yes, this is what I want to do. Let's get down. 
them. Look for the thing. We're gonna duck out for a minute. Oh, goody. And there is literally a bunch of poisonous gas in here. So let's not get too close to that, eh? There's a sentinel right the up above me. But I'm hoping that he can't glitch himself through a wall. Because if not, then I'm alright. <sighs> alright. What did I do? Don't get me out of here. Please. I don't want to be in this shit. Thank you. Alright, well. I didn't get everything I wanted out of this, but I got enough. Get in your ship, son. We need to leave now. Yay, great. Fucking let me get in my ship. Thank you. Now, the one uh, complaint that I will say a lot of people do end up having about this game, and I'm not going to lie, even I have it, still, is that it is annoying that you have to hold down the button. Um, sorry, but that's still a complaint I have. But realistically, if that's my worst complaint, there are worse ones you could have. So, it's a very, very... Alright. Session guided message. Wait, what? Let's please, it's a starship scanner. We have scanned. Okay, it's a broadcast station. So something has broadcast to us. I wish they'd make that a little clearer. Not for me, I played this uh, game before pre this next update, but I wish they would make this clear for people who have never played this, so that way they weren't like, Arr? and they would know what the fuck is going on. So, I think I'm literally landing on the same planet I took off from, just in a different spot. But that's alright, it gets good stuff, so maybe we can have any good like of bullshit. I will do that. Nope, I'm in Chihuahua 77. A, a planet I named. Being that, uh, as you all know, Mute Dog is a Chihuahua. Now, you all haven't seen the other dog. Well, she's asleep right now. And she's quite large. Um, so I can't call her a Chihuahua. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Is there space to land? I think that's. Oh, hold on, hold on, son. Hold on. Like we just entered Hoth. If you are a Star Star Wars fan, you'll get that reference. If you're not a Star Wars fan, uh, why the fuck not, really? Whispering Egg. I don't know what these are, but I read a lot of that shit about them, so we're not gonna play with that today. You get a feeling those are bad news. Abandoned building. Inhabitants unknown. We're going to clear out the residual goop. I don't take stuff like this. You can. Um, I'd actually advise you all to take anything worth money and sell everything. Every, every little bit of money helps. But I instead like... You'll find us when the time is right. 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16. So oxygen and ferrite dust. All right, baby. So we got. Uh, so we can make some of this, hopefully. Make the into another housing, and we can make a work cell. And we're gonna pop this. Starship, go to the starship, the technology, and better boom. While well, we're here, let's search this. Condensed carbon, always good to have, like I said. Basically, a big battery source.
Now the reason I am not taking my own advice and taking uh, what? Oh, so I found something else, eh? I did that, eh? I did that. What is that? The thing is cool looking. It's like a giant. Uh, we're gonna call him uh, the sea cow or the sky cow or manatee, maybe. Eh? I don't know. That looks like a sky pillar, maybe. I'm not sure. What do you all? Let's hand you over for a head stand you over for. Let's have a tag you all or I know the protection of this or that is always falling. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say that I probably been playing this for an hour now. I don't know. I just seem I've been playing it for a while. This is the one bad thing about doing Let's Plays in a series is that you have to decide how much of a series you're keeping and how much you're not because there's so much you can do in one that it takes a while, but this one's gonna take a little while. Um, as you all know, we recently launched our Not Safe for Work playlist, and some of you have liked that, some of you have had a few of you that are like, why did you do that? I don't like it, but uh, look, there are just certain games nowadays that there's no getting around it, they're going to violate YouTube's uh, things unless I flag them as not safe for work, and I don't really want to lose my channel, so therefore I don't really have a choice. It's just kind of the nature of a beast, kind of. You, you have to go with it or you don't have to go with it. Jesus, I got a lot of crazy shit in there, don't I? The Corvax will like this thing I have. I'm going to actually charge up our bicycle over here and get that thing out of the way. And we're going to charge up, and I always recommend while you're in space and it's not as crazy, if you can charge stuff up, charge up whatever you can charge up without uh, having to go in there and worry about this stuff. Now see there is one thing I would love to have are plasma, like, plasma, plasma, plasma grenades. God, what is wrong? Um, need an oxygen filter. Okay, so that's good to know. That's a shield that just I need a sodium diode and antimatter. So that's a very expensive upgrade there. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to try and um, space access the galaxy map. So let's look for the galaxy map. I don't think they thought this went through. I'm not seeing it. Oh, okay. They did. I'm the dork. I am the dork. Summon a freighter. Now, a lot of people are talking about this freighter thing here. Freighters are huge-ass ships, obviously. Um, now, I can go to a new galaxy. And there is even some arguing over what the deal is with the galactic core, and if you should go there, and if you should not. I do wish they would explain this a little better here to people. Because I feel like they don't... I feel like it's bad, um, but this is basically how it works here. As you'll see this point in space, you'll click this, and then you'll click warp. Now this is by cream dominated, so this is a different set of things entirely. The Gek or Gentle, the Vicreen are warlike, and then the Corvax are uh, technology and science based. So you really have to know what you're playing with when you deal with these. Now this is a much cooler work uh, sequence than they used to have. I feel like it's a nice one. I like it. Now there's planetary outposts. Planetary outposts are good. Scanning all these planets, or at least I know the names. Uh, this thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you going, baby? Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay. So you're right there. And it looks like we are headed straight down into the eye of the storm of Nova X. Whatever in the hell. Over something. 
Also, in a small note of this is not related to the game, uh, I watched a movie I saw before but decided to watch again recently, which was Would You Rather, and while I did, I noticed something I had not noticed before. Um, I was a latecomer to the whole Taylor Park Boys phenomenon. Um, found them on Netflix and started watching them there, so I can't claim I was a huge, you know, and poor, like some of you probably were, and it's no offense to them, I just, I didn't know. But, okay, I gotta get some majestic as shit. Let me go and do my stuff, please. <laughs> Maybe I sound thrilled, you can tell, don't I? Um, I am actually. For one thing, they have added a ton of color to the aliens. Uh, the scales, the skin looks different. He looks high as a kite, doesn't he? Buddy? Now, different things you do will raise and lower their respect for you, so be careful of that. You can, uh, he does look high as a kite. It's okay, baby. What's going on? You alright? Cool. He's like, alright. See you later. You need anything? You need anything? You feeling good, baby? Um. I love that they're like, they're not currently insulted. So, dialect help, they want more dike, and that makes sense. More dike is a. Well, thank you. I don't know what package he gave me. An advanced ion battery. I will take that shit. I don't know what that is yet, but I bet I will need it later. Um, my suit is probably getting full, so I think I have like one cargo spot on it. Let's move the Corvax case enough. Holy shit. Before we do that, we're going to go ahead and sell these Ecton and Pearls. Now that I know they're worth a decent price. They're not worth a ton, but they're worth enough for me to be interested in selling them. It's like that old saying, she's worth the price of a good conversation. Little shout out to the band's phone call out there for that one. Um, we saw them and a nifty thing called uh, Mystery Skulls, actually. My daughter took me to see them and uh, got me into Mystery Skulls, and I actually quite liked them, along with Phone Call. And it was funny because as we're doing this show, the first one was your run of the mill techno DJ, and she was good. She played the drums too. And her name was Hey DW. And she, she could really jam on the drums, like metal drummer, you know. So she'd do that and DJ and go back and forth. And then these two guys come up, normal clothes, I think like kind of like a black turtleneck, normal. Uh, and the other guy just had like a small keyboard with a few different options on his mixer. But it was a very small setup. And uh, when they started, what came out was not techno, but like funk soul music. And I was like, yes, this is amazing, because I did not expect it. Uh, and these guys were, they sold it, man. They were like into it. Um, they even did that song. Um, they even covered an Elvis Costello song. I want to say it was Fire It Up. So that they were pretty good. Uh, their name is Phone Call. If you look them up, they do. I'm going to warn you now. If you're expecting cheesy, you're going to get cheesy. If you're expecting great, you, you I don't know. But. Uh, likelihood of. Suggest for the raid. If we can offer it. This one speaks in a language I understand, and yet I cannot comprehend their meaning. It's because if they do not know what they're saying, it's as, as if their mind is not their own. The only enough to a blueprint means to construct my own antimatter. Uh, it's pretty eyes, eh? Take the antimatter blueprint to our resuming the stress and design but what it is I cannot fathom. There is nothing I can do now but continue to fathom. Well, alright, baby. Oh, fucking chromatic metal for everything, right? 
Chromatic Metal is one of the founding fathers of my journey. Let's take a look at some ships. And at least see what we're looking at. Now they do say, uh... Almost any ship you want in this game, if you know what you're doing, you can try and buy. This one has more slots, a hyperdrive that is blinking empty is much better than mine. Now this is what I'm just saying. You see the class key guys? Watch the difference between the ships. I have a class C fighter. It's a tiny little ship. He'll let this go for oh a cool two million, which is not not bad. I so I would love that ship right now. I would. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty ship. Uh, and it's a big ass ship. Any ship you find, chances are it's going to be bigger than the ship you own. So be aware of that too. Um, uh, okay, I was like, why couldn't I sell that? I don't know. I might need gold and silver, I don't know, but I'm selling them for now, so if I'm wrong, I'm there, then ooh. Uh, now things that are in the red there, they don't need. That are maybe the galactic whatever, uh, cannot buy it for some other reason. I don't know what the reason, but I mean, maybe they just can't, uh, I'm gonna sell that anyway. Maybe they just can't handle it. Alright. So, we need the dehydrogen crystals to start off. I'm gonna leave my ship there. We're gonna go up and we're gonna explore this planet a little. And, uh, we're gonna see what we think. And then I'll probably make that the end of this video. Uh, I will not... Uh, I will not make a point of finding new technology, messing with new technology, any of that without you all. For the sake of quickness in some of this, the only thing I, I may do here and there, and I'm not lying to you all about it, so I'm just telling you now, that I may do is just nudge, nudge the speed of the broadcast by going in. Aha! Thought you are going to get me, you little fucker. I don't think so. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Those damn things right there. Scan everything. Everything you scan is important. Everything you upload is important. And you want to... Why did I do that? I scanned it and I didn't shoot the damn thing. I even shit-talked it. I I was gonna shoot it. Then I didn't shoot it. What the hell? That's a pretty plant right there. Um, let's check out some raritesses. What we got there with this little... Oh, I know that. That's a Humper Doodle. I saw one of those last year, right? No, I did not. Okay, so. Oh, whoa, 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 you look like a different thing. You are a different thing. You better not have been sneaking up on my antsy little ship. Patient Hunter, diet radioactive meat. Gentle soul. So, I guess it likes long walks on the beach and staring into my eyes. I'm not sure. Okay, so there's radiation I think everywhere out there. That is what I, that's what I'm getting out of this. Basically is that radiation is everywhere. Okay. Make sure you identify stuff before you kill it. Don't be like me who's just wandering around and like shooting shit. That radiation protection thing is no joke. It's that it's going down much quicker than I would like. Um, off-camera I will probably gather quite a few fairy technology modules just to get them, just get them out there. Oh, Mordite. Mordite is important right now to me because I want to make 
friends with these people. What do you mean these people? What do you mean these people? Let me know in the comments if you know what that's from. It's from a movie. I'll see if you know what it's from. By the way, I never did hear back. We had a fan. He sent something out to you, but I have not heard from him since. So I don't know if he ended up getting uh, what we sent him or not. If you did not, buddy, please let me know. Uh, we will send you. We will send you a gift. <laughs> That's why he gave me that battery. Probably shouldn't have used it for that either. But look, it is what it is, right? So we want. So there's a lot of stuff I gotta scan here. A lot of stuff. What is going on? If that happens again, then we're going to have to Tell you one thing, I'm gonna scan this whole damn planet in the next like two feet of walking. This is a very, very dense planet. Full of a uh, dense thing. Dense heat. Alright. We got all the effing carbon we need. Uh, sodium right now is good. Sulfite, sulfurine can kiss my ass right now. So what I need, and I hate to do that to it, and I hate to do that to this, but I have bigger needs here. So what I need to learn how to do is craft antimatter, which is chromatic metal, which we all know that is obviously copper, and condensed carbon. Um, I have not enough copper, so we will need copper there. Condensed curve, and I need to find. There's a lot of these up in the isn't it? I'll say this is definitely going to be a very interesting, interesting. Um, wow. This is definitely going to be a very interesting. Play through next time, I think, just because part five will have a lot of walking. And I'm sorry for that, guys, but I don't know what else to tell you. It looks like this is going to be a huge thing. It's a building of things here. Um, there's one of those sneaky little fits again I told you about. Remember, I told you guys about these things. Do not show mercy to them ever. Kill them on the spot. Because they are little assholes and they will kill you when you're back this turn. Uh, I've actually died to one once or twice. It does happen. So here's our copper deposit. So let's get in here. And dig out all the copper we can. Because chromatic metal, I feel like chromatic metal is one of the big building blocks now for a lot of designs and a lot of things that you want. So I say grab as much of that shit as you can because, at least so far in my experience, it's it's used in a bunch of different things I need. I don't even have enough ever to make everything that I need it for, so use it. Now this ray doesn't seem to overheat, it just loses the punch, the punch. I got enough copper for now though. Um, so we'll see. I don't get enough ferrite, however. Radiation protection. Oh, no, you dick. Don't do that. Okay. There's no way somebody could name that thing. It's called Kusherite. Come on now. You know a pothead named that. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. The mining beam is, of course, it easiest thing in the world to charge. Um, just even normal carbon's fine. Now I need to figure something new out because where the hell am I gonna find? Rada rada rada. That's all that shit. I need to find where I'm going to find 
wrap your head around that for a minute, will ya? Um, condensed. So maybe that'll be something I do off camera, is go hunting for the condensed carbon. And, uh, you'll see the fruits of my labor, everybody, on the next one. I'm also having to pick and choose what I'm keeping. Gamma root, I feel like I don't need yet. But I feel like down the road I'm going to want that. Uh, for now, I need to be able to craft all of my own energy better. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our way back. Oh, uranium. Alright. Uranium I can actually use as ship fuel or as pulse fuel. It's one of the fuels, I'm sure of it. So we want ferrite dust and we want uranium. I'm working on it, you bitch. Okay, let's work on it out of that cloud of horrible dust. Maybe. You can see that little city over there, so we are going to go over there and uh, call it quits with this one. I don't know how long I'm playing. I'm not sure. Probably a while. I don't know. This one is interesting, I think. But you can do this too. You want to get nanites, really. But I, I'm not going to lie to you when I say do get all the nanites you can as well. Uh, do not underestimate the importance of nanites in this game because you will not get shit for technology without them. So get every nanite possible. Get them all. That is a big ass thing. That is a gamma weed. Pure ferrite. Carbon and mordite. I don't really need more carbon, do I? But the mordite stuff I need. So we're gonna go here. Oh, oh, oh! Condensed carbon. So the crystals. The crystals are condensed carbon. Well, alright, baby. Please work the Pacific conversation. Alright. So, let's, uh, let's make this shit before we do any of this. I'm feeling pretty, feeling pretty punchy about this here. Pretty good. Ooh, I'm not feeling good about that though. What do I got for that? I got nothing. I need something. Alright, right there, right there. This is our savior. We gotta, we gotta move this shit. Because I have no radiation protection at all. There's a little shit creature that I've gotta scan. Is that a land shark? It looks like a land shark. Or a name. I'll show you how all this works too. Soon. But uh, first things first, let's go to the glowing plant. It is hopefully going to save our life. Uh, we need something, and we need it now. Oh, they aren't. I know you hooker. I should have called her everything. That's not polite. Don't call one of these guys. Remember, kids, don't call one of the hookers. <laughs> not my good act for the day, telling children not to call one of the hookers. What is wrong with you? Um, Alright. So sodium, I do want. Alright. God, why did I never put two and two together with that bullshit? I don't know. But anyway, so. We are here. And we need to be, basically. So this is how I'm going to make this. Because we're going to set this. The refiner. Now I know some of you are probably wondering, why aren't you making the other thing? Why aren't you making the, uh, the, uh, somebody help me out here. Why aren't you making the, see? They almost tried to get me to use the other thing that I can watch. 
some of you are asking me here, why aren't you using the, uh... No, that was fast, wasn't it? I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what the fuck I was saying uh, a second ago. I literally lost my train of thought, but I know it'll come back to me. So I apologize for that. Are you serious? All of that, and I still don't have enough for medic metal. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do I'll go gather the farm chromatic metal off screen, and then from there on the next let's play. You all will not have to wait around forever and you can just enjoy my efforts. How's, how's that? Because like I said, if I do every single bit of this on screen, yeah, this is going to be a 90,000 part series. Um, we haven't even hit. Oh, shit. Well, that hurt a little. Wait. Wait, did I just say I got something for that? Did I literally just get something for doing that? I don't know what the hell just happened there, but I literally just, like, bled an iron battery. I don't know how I did that, but, uh, that was weird. Condensed carving, chromatic metal, yeah. Um, but yeah, when you get a refiner, do not spend money in this game on buying any more things. Learn to refine for everything you can, and you'll be very, very happy with that. Now, um... Swell. Boom. Alright, so we are going to get to our ship. Let our radiation protection go up. Your ship does two things. First of all, it stabilizes you. We have launch fuel now from the rear so now that we know this planet has that, it's good. And let us have a little landmark moment together, shall we here? So somebody's named somebody is here. And nobody has named this. Nobody has named this planet either. Manufacturing, comfortable, comfort level, intermittent. So let us name this whole galaxy, guys. Now this seems to go on and out. I don't know what the deal is. If you lost connection or whatever back. Because it names them fine and it sends them fine. So I don't know. Let's name this. Um, what do we not want to name it? I like to try and name these close to what they are. The planet will have a name that warns people that it's radioactive. In the galaxy, however, you can name whatever you want. Um, tell you what we're gonna do. Let's Metalhead Seven because the Vikings are metal. So. And the planet is Radiactus, so I have just named those. And these are cute little guys, aren't they? That is a not cute thing. That looks like a something a mad scientist unleashes in a worm. It's like, look at this thing! <laughs> it's like a freaking mouse. I think this is a thing here that we thought, uh, I like it the notes. Lovely eyes. Lovely eyes, baby. So let's, uh, let's name him. Hey. Okay. Well, uh, let's call him the, uh, Roaming Uh Let's make it something unique. Turtle Pods. I feel like he deserved a big name. A little thing like that. Alright, so now we are going to leave this and boom. 
a store point. So that's why you actually really do that. Anyways, uh, I'm going to call it for this session. We got 57,000 units off screen. I might see if I can bump that a little. It'd be nice to get us a bigger ship, but I really don't think I should do that. I would like you all to see how I make my money in this, see how we do this. So, Anyways, thank you guys very much. Have been Bones. Be sure to subscribe, like our video, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. So have a good day.